Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the question if we can put a solar LED string light on a palm tree, especially here I'm talking about foxtail palm tree or not. If it's dangerous, if it's risky, can you destroy palm tree? What kind of LEDs would I recommend to use? Here I have a sample which I've been using now for one and a half years. It's end of life and it has been working really great. And I think it's some kind of great compromise between between durability and flexibility. So I have the impression that the tree has still been growing a little bit. I don't know how flexible this is. Usually we cannot just uh, pull wire and then make it longer. I don't know how it is with copper. But I really have the impression that the tree was still growing a little bit and it definitely didn't cut off the water supply. That's the most important thing. I mean, in the inside of a palm tree, there's this water supply. And if you put something around the palm tree and you like choke it and you cut off the water supply, it will never come back. You have to be really careful. Palm tree is not comparable to a normal tree. It's more like a large uh, type of grass, at least. This is what I have read. So we have to be really careful not to damage palm tree because when the damage is done, it's done. It uh, usually cannot really recall. So you have to be a little bit careful. And this is what I have been using now for one and a half years and it has been working really good. I've been wrapping this around all the three foxtail palm trees which I have and none of them has been damaged and these LED string lights have been lasting pretty long. Of course not forever. You can see uh, when there was too much pressure, too much tension, it has been torn apart. Uh, maybe you can see that here. Uh, they are quite flexible, bendable, uh, you can really use them, really nicely wrap them around and then after that secure them here in the back. You don't need any nails or so, just wrap this thing here around and then it has quite some hold. But when there is too much pressure, they can still pull it apart. And this is how it really worked for me and I keep buying these things. It's not the first uh, LED string light which I've been buying for these trees. I have already bought a couple of them and these are the ones which I've been working really nicely. Also with the solar light, usually the light is on for most of the night, of course, depending on the uh, sunshine duration, but it seems to be pretty durable. Here, unfortunately, over time, the lawn mower company, they cut into this wire. Uh, I think it was connected here. They have just been cutting into that and so that was then uh, the end of this thing. Other than that, it has been still working despite uh, some parts have been pulling apart. Of course, it can only work between the controller and the end before it cuts off and then everything else you can remove. But it has been really working for me. If you buy something stronger than that, you really risk that you will damage the tree. If you buy something weaker than that, it probably won't last very long because the tree is still really expanding. So I think again, this is a really nice compromise. And so if you're interested, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing of such uh, lights with the copper wire down into the description so you can check it out and order one for you. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments or other suggestions, other opinions on that, then just let us know down in the feedback area. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.